shine, baby. Rain or shine. Look at the dust coming up. It's like a tornado out here. Another day in the tree life. Use that bobcat to pull this thing down. It's down, safe. Her fence is intact. That's the job well done. This crack or area through here is not good. It could represent dead tissue. This is a rapid growth here. Whereas this is not growing at all. See that that, similar to what we showed on that tree, was exhibited here. Area of rapid growth, trying to compensate for a bad spot, lack of growth, or decay, possibly dead tissue, which is what caused this crack in this tree and allowed the tree to collapse. Without a doubt, there's decay in this. And look at that cavity pocket for them. There's even ants that live in there. So the lack of growth here is representation of something going on with the tree. And that crack actually continues up to where that branch was removed, ironically. And then this branch was removed, and that branch was removed, and that branch was removed, and the one up there was removed. And I wonder why this tree is hanging on by a thread and why it's not growing and developing properly. And it's no wonder why this species of tree collapses or falls apart or suffers from massive amounts of decay. Because people treat them wrong. If you prune large branches that are large in proportion to the diameter of the trunk, then you run the risk of decay. And unfortunately, if that wasn't bad enough, just on the adjacent side, there's even more decay. All of this entire area all the way up to probably around where that branch was removed is decayed as well. So, treat your trees good, they'll treat you good. Take large branches that don't need to be removed off and find out the hard way what the results are for that. And here's another water oak tree in the same yard. As you can see, it's exhibiting a very large wound. It looks like an entire leader. This appeared to be a co-dominant laurel oak several issues going on with this tree. Um, right there, a dead branch. It almost looks like that one rotted out. Just above it, a large break. Above that, another break. A pruning wound here. Pruning wound there. Another break up there. Um, just several significant issues with this older laurel oak. We call them 40-year trees because they're great trees for about 40 years, and then after that, all bets are off. Now, these trees do live to be around 100, but after 40 years, there's no telling what these trees are gonna do. It's unfortunate, really, but they are great habitat for wildlife, so if they're not over your house and threatening or jeopardizing anything, then it's fine. You can have these kind of trees in your yard, or your field, or your backyard, but just know that there are some issues with this species of tree. They're more susceptible. I mean, so that's called a hat rack. It looks like you can hang all your ball caps on that. And that's a pecan tree, but as you can see, severely hat rack. It looks like it's holding on, and I don't know why they did it. I don't know if they thought that was good pruning. I don't know if all the branches are dead. I don't know if that tree's dead. It's probably just dormant. But pruning practices like this, are what turn into trees like those that have large issues down the road.